Ukrainian teenager Yelisei Mamanov dreams of going to his country's top technical university. But for now, he is learning by crafting remote-controlled stretchers at his family's workshop to aid wounded troops as Russia's invasion grinds on. Working with his father Dimitro, a former factory manager, and alongside his 10-year-old sister Yuzenia, the 14-year-old has already put dozens of such devices into use. We need to grow our production. We want as many of these at the front line as possible, so that every unit, every company has one. The Mamanovs fled the eastern city of Slovyansk shortly after Moscow's February 2022 invasion and set up production in central Ukraine, away from the threat of cluster munitions that once rained down on their neighborhood. Yuzenia says she now plays a vital role on the production line. I used to just stand there and hold the engine while Yelisei was checking it all out. But I have now learned how to do it myself, and now I can connect the electronics on my own. Business is booming, according to wife and mother Oksana, who was also pulled into the project known as Tank Bureau to field orders for frontline troops. She brushes off criticism from family members and others that her kids are missing out on an ordinary childhood. I think that, on the contrary, when they grow up, they'll be thankful because they'll have more skills than others. Drones and other high-tech devices are now playing a pivotal role in the war, and top officials have recognized the need to step up domestic manufacturing. Dimitro wants his family's stretchers to be as widespread as first aid kits. That means mass production. That means we need a proper plan. In order to reach this, we need a radical leap forward. As of now, I'm not able to do that. I need to work on improving them. The Mamanov's effort has been funded by a Ukrainian defense tech accelerator run by the government.